guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. Starting off this vlog from in the car. I am merging onto the highway right now. Um, today is Tuesday. I am off from work today and I have just like some errands to run and some just kind of random things to do. So I figured I would vlog. I haven't vlogged in a couple days. Uh, I know I always vlog on my days off, but obviously those are the easiest days for me to vlog. So um, like I said, today is Tuesday. I am on my way right now to a cool tone appointment. If you guys watched a few vlogs back, I decided that I was gonna do laser hair removal um, this year. And so as part of like signing up with Ideal Image to do my laser hair removal, I got one free treatment um, of something else to try. And so Cool Tone was one of the options. You can do it for your butt or your legs or your stomach. So I decided to do it for my stomach because my stomach is my most, like I'm most self-conscious about my stomach. So I am doing get the cool tone for my stomach. I'm just doing the one session that I got for free. Um, and we'll just try it and see how it goes. It's supposed to like help tone your abs. It like basically like simulates the like doing like 200 crunches or something. I'm not exactly sure what the science behind it is. Um, but it, the treatment takes about 30 minutes. Um, so I'm heading to my appointment now. My appointment is at 9. It's 8.45. And um, after that, um, this afternoon, I'm going to go take out Kylo, my little poodle friend. Um, and then I will also have therapy this afternoon at 2, I believe, is my therapy appointment. So I... Um, doing that today. I do also have to go grocery shopping at some point to buy stuff to make some dinners this week. I have stuff to, to make lunches. I'm going to prep some lunch bowls again today. I want to do, I think I'm going to do salmon bowls again this week. Um, so I already like took the salmon out of the freezer that I made last time and it's defrosting in the fridge right now while I'll be gone. Um, and then I'm going to try to make at least one, if not two recipes from the new half half baked harvest cookbook um she just released a new cookbook and so i picked out two recipes that i want to try first this week so i have to go get the stuff for that um one of them is like a lasagna a la vodka so i do need to get some vodka because i don't have any in my apartment so i'll have to go to a liquor store or something today as well so kind of just a lot of like random errands today um but with that being said i'm about to get off at my exit and this road is super loud and bumpy um so i will just talk to you guys after my cool tone appointment okie dokie i just finished i am definitely sweaty i don't know if it was like nervous sweat or like because it's like working all the muscles in your abs sweat but it was definitely interesting it's like electrical stimulation to like contract all your muscles and stuff um i don't know how long it takes to like actually show results i think like a week to four weeks what does it say about four weeks so we'll see the girl who like signed me up who like did all my stuff for me um she said about a week so um i guess we'll see if i magically have abs in a week but anyway i'm gonna head over to wegman's now and do as much of my grocery shopping as i can i was able to make a list while i was waiting for them to take me back of everything that i needed so i'm gonna go do that and then if the ab if the abc store is open by the time i'm done i'll go do that if not I'll do it when I go back out later. But anyway, it's 9.45, so I'm gonna head over to Wegmans now. I went to Wegmans, like I said. Unfortunately, they did not have everything that I needed to make both recipes. And I found some Meyer lemons, cause they're like, you know, in season in the springtime, I believe, or like winter spring. And so I found some of those 
and I know there's a recipe with Meyer lemons in the cookbook so I don't know what else I'll need for that because I only remember the lemons obviously because that wasn't the ones I took one sent the one I took a picture of and obviously not all the recipes from her cookbook are on her website. So I'm gonna have to go back to a different grocery store anyway to get the chicken tenders for the um, pretzel chicken tender recipe. I don't even know if I said what the two recipes were, but regardless, I'm rambling. Let's get into what I got from Wegmans and then I'm gonna eat something, run over to Ruth's apartment to take out her dog run over to a second grocery store and the liquor store, get um, the vodka and the couple other things that I need, and then we'll be back home in time for therapy, hopefully. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, I did buy two like prepared meals just in case I can't find the chicken at the other restaurant, or at the other restaurant. Oh boy, just in case I can't find the chicken at the other grocery store, I will have a second dinner option. Um, so I got some crab mac and cheese and then I got mini crab cakes with remoulade sauce. I was actually thinking the other day when I was at Harris Teeter how I could like really go for a crab cake, but I hate making them myself. Um, so I got some pre-made ones today from Wegmans and then I also got some stuff from the bakery, which is like some of my favorite things at Wegmans. Wegmans is the best for prepared foods the bakery and like their like cheese section, I think. Um, and they just have like all the stuff you need. Um, but I did get three uh, jalapeno cheddar bagels and then I did get one vanilla bean muffin for breakfast one day. And then I did get some asparagus. I figured I would make those with the chicken tenders, assuming I can find them. If not, I'll make them with the crab cakes or whatever. I did get some more almond butter because I was out. Um, this is the Wegmans, just the just almonds um, almond butter. I just like plain almond butter, like a weirdo. Um, I did get some tomato paste for the vodka sauce for the lasagna. So the two recipes are lasagna a la vodka and pretzel, spicy pretzel crusted chicken tenders. So, um, and then I got some, like a wee, half a wheel, if you will, of provolone so I can shred it for the lasagna because they didn't sell it pre-shredded. And then I also got some frozen things. I got this riced broccoli with cheddar cheese sauce. I thought that sounded good. I also got some more of the veggie pasta from Bird's Eye. This is the shells with white cheddar sauce. And then I did get some pre-frozen spinach for the lasagna. I keep fresh spinach in the freezer all the time, but it specifically said frozen spinach. And then obviously if I'm gonna use it all up in the thing, I won't have any left for smoothies. So I just got fresh. Um, I got a bag of pretzels for the pretzel crusting. The only pretzels I have are like seasoned and flavored pretzels. I don't have any like plain pretzels. Um, and then I did get lasagna noodles. I do usually buy the bread oven ready ones but it called for a pound and the oven ready doesn't come in a pound box. It like, so I would have had to like split a box in half, which doesn't make sense to me. So I just bought regular because it does come in the pound size. Does everything need quite an elaborate um, explanation or am I just like in a chatty mood today? I, I don't know. I think not everything needs this elaborate of an explanation, but I'm gonna keep going. I got this little, mixed berry pack to take with lunches this week. And then I also got some pre-cut mango. If you heard my mango rant in the last video, you'll know why. <laughs> if you didn't, I'll give you the quick rundown. I hate cutting mango. I feel like I never get any fruit off of the mango when I cut it. So I've switched to only buying pre-cut mango. Um, I got some pesto sauce for the lasagna and Wegmans has the best fresh pesto sauce. I did get one of their juices. This one's my favorite, the lemon, ginger, and cayenne one. Um, I just grab one every time I go. They're expensive, but fresh and, you know, good for you theoretically, right? Um, I got ricotta for the lasagna. I just got some dairy-free sliced cheese because I used up my last slice this morning. 
And I just like to mix it up sometimes with dairy-free considering like the lasagna I'm making is like just plain dairy basically. I got some grated Parmesan for the lasagna, heavy cream for the lasagna. I also got a basil plant because I couldn't find any other form of basil in the store. So now I have a basil plant which I will inevitably kill. So we're gonna just hopefully use it all up in this lasagna recipe. Uh, and then I did get those Meyer lemons I was talking about. And then I did get some more bananas. As per usual, I get the greenest ones. Um, I got five this week, which is more than I usually get, but it was the best looking bunch and I didn't wanna like split a bunch. Um, anyway, that was, excessively rambly i'm gonna put all this away and then i will check in with you guys um probably i might film a clip or two when i'm at ruth's apartment um and then i'll film another haul when i get back from i'll probably go to harris teeter i think the sunroof open because it's such a nice day and we're gonna head over to ruth's apartment back from taking the puppy out i did get scratched in the face but now i'm taking my puppy out and then I'm gonna hop on to my therapy call. I did stop at the grocery store and get the eggs, the chicken, and the vodka that I needed. So I'm good to make either meal um, for dinner this week, but I also need to prep lunches. So we'll see what I can get done this afternoon. I'm mid cooking up this stuff, cooking some rice for my salmon bowls, starting on the sauce for the lasagna and boiling some water for the pasta. Sauce is finishing up, noodles are done, and then everything else is ready to start layering in there. All right, my salmon bowls are ready for lunch for my next two shifts and the lasagna's in the oven. I totally forgot to film the lasagna when it was done, but I already ate it and cleaned it up and put it away and everything. Um, I'm just cleaning up the last two pots and pans and putting them back up on the shelf. I can't get over the scratch. Um, and then I'm finally gonna make these cookies that I got a couple weeks ago because I'm just like wanting something sweet. So my oven is preheating yet again. The stove top is, it's so bad. Like it's so dirty. I just don't have the motivation to clean it. Um, but I only have one pan left and that's the pan I made the sauce in. So I might like rinse it and then spray it with my power wash and let it like really soak in. So I don't have to like scrub that hard. Uh, but yeah, I've just been watching some YouTube and relaxing um, since I have work again tomorrow. I'm just trying to like take it easy tonight and all that. But the lasagna was really good. I do think I used too much garlic though because I used the pre-minced garlic that I have instead of like buying eight cloves and cutting them up. And it was just like a little too much garlic for me. So that would be like if I did it again, I would just use less garlic. But it was really good. It's pouring now. Um, I think it's supposed to like thunderstorm tonight because it was so warm today. Um, but yeah, making cookies. Hopefully I'll remember to show them to you. Um, and then since lunch is already prepped, I don't really have much to do before tomorrow. Here's the cookies. Popping in here now to acknowledge that I never ended the vlog and I'm very sorry, but thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.